Hi everyone, this adventure is in the El Paso Mountains. It's kind of in between uh, 395 and 14, uh, almost where they come together, up by Randsburg. Plenty of trails, plenty to do and see. There's a lot of cabins along the way, and uh, we ended up staying at the Sears Cabin, one of our favorites up there. It's Pickle Camp, El Paso Mountains. Obviously somebody was had a homestead. There was some volunteers staying here at one point. Not sure if they still do or not. This place is uh, preloaded with a lot of old equipment. It's pretty amazing. We got a strange crane, and steel wheel tractor. There's a uh, homemade and real mining ore buckets. A lot of stuff here. So it's just fun to look around. Kind of like a junkyard. <laughs> This thing is. What the heck? Huh. Total steam pump looking thing. All right, here we are checking out the Welch cabin up on uh, Wells. I'm not sure what actually. It's up on a hill, overlooking uh, down this way over there is Ransburg, Ransburg Garlock Road, and uh, has to have cable on here. It gets so windy up here at times. This thing would be gone without these cables. So last time we were here it was 50 mile an hour winds, I think. So this is, uh, I think, a fairly decent front room and everything in here. It's not a bad cabin for that. It's got a real nice uh, stove, but the other rooms look like some kind of satanic ritual murders uh, have occurred in it, so there's so much rat crap and everything. It's really, this room is about it. Kitchen is okay. Not the greatest, but it's okay. All right, this is the Narrows. This first one looks fine, but it, uh, it's a little bit more of a V up here. This could be interesting at a full size. Huh. Boy. Yeah, this is not, uh, this is a little bit of rock crawling here, sort of. Interesting. These next few clips, you'll see how Sean gets a workout sometimes. This is definitely amusing.
Wait till he puts his hands in there, Sean. He complains about everything. You hit his hand, he complains. You get dirt in him, he complains. Oh yeah, I cleared it, he clears it. Steer a little right. You gotta go driver or passenger, gives him no right or left. Oh, he went on it. at Holland Camp, sorry about the wind. Interesting building, kind of segmented off. Huh. And then uh, one end has got a cement. I don't know if that was like for parking or for they lived in here. Pretty thick, like railroad tie size uh, lumber. Here's our uh, camp at Sears Cabin in the El Paso Mountains. Sean's got a new tent. He likes a nice big king size bed. That's, that's nice. Ed, you can't take money with you. This mic set up. Pete's along. Pete's looking at a swag. Me and Tom, Rebecca, and Ed all slept in the cabin. They usually do. Ah, uh, the requirements. Of overlanding, important. Right. Absolutely important. Three feet. Slow. One more foot. Stop.
This cabin may have seen better days. Not quite habitable. Close. A couple of hours of fixing, no problem. Underground explorers are actually underground. There's something new. <laughs> I don't know if this qualifies. It's underground. I don't know like 2,500 feet. It's not underground. Here we go. Grudge match is on. It looks like I'm gonna win this. <laughs> We're making the uh, homemade flaky cinnamon rolls from scratch. This is a very special recipe my grandma gave me. There we go. All ready to go. Fortunately, we never have anything good to eat for breakfast. Just gotta live with what we can make here like this. This is the omelet pan. Pancakes are rolling. And then now, we got the oven going. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you on the trail.